Director Steven Spielberg will take moviegoers back to the Civil War as his film Lincoln debuts in theaters all across the country tomorrow. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard is live out at the AMC Theater on Dirksen Parkway in Springfield. And Kimberly, for those of us here in Central Illinois, we probably won't get to catch the flick until next week. Yeah, that's right, and that's because uh, that movie is not going to be in all theaters, just a limited number of theaters. And for whatever reason, Springfield is not included in that complete list. A curious thing, especially after Springfield played a vital role in making sure that film became reality. The life of a man so many are inspired by lights up the silver screen for the second time this year. Government of the people, by the people. And a Steven Spielberg film simply titled Lincoln. I think that this should be the one place where it is aired first because of course we're Lincoln's home. But Springfield, which pays homage to the 16th president in countless ways, didn't make the cuts. I would, would certainly have uh, picked Springfield to, to be a place to uh, have an early showing. Mayor Mike Houston says while it's disappointing, he's not taking it personally. Probably has absolutely uh, nothing to do with the cities, more in to do with the actual theaters that uh, they will be appearing in and it may be uh, the result of some type of arrangement or contractual Arrangement. Speaking of arrangements, the film's producers had quite a few meetings with historians right here in the capital city. Our involvement with the Spielberg Lincoln movie began about two years ago when the main star Daniel Day Lewis paid a visit and really soaked up the Lincoln atmosphere. All the sights and the sounds. The sound effects that they recorded were from Mary Lincoln's original music box, the dinner bell from the Lincoln home, as well as the law office clock from Lincoln's law office. Just outside Springfield, Kelly Quine Productions provided saddles, wagons, even horses to play the part. This is all coordinated to look like a busy city in 1865. You can't see Lincoln at this theater or any other theater across central Illinois until next Friday, but at least you can see what Lincoln saw and walked where Lincoln walked just by being in your hometown. Live in Springfield, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. All right, thanks so much, Kimberly. And Lincoln is rated PG-13. We have a link to next week's showtimes on our website, WICS.com.